Welcome to this space. Thank you so much for being here. So we are discussing getting a little glimpse from different vantage points of our, de our Destin, A Time to Rise 2022 gathering that we just had recently. And if you're watching this video and it says it was posted a year ago, well, don't worry about it. The quantum is wonderful in that manner and the energy finds you right where you're at, right when it needs to. So what we're gonna share here is some of the understandings, the experiences, the expansiveness uh, that happened in that space. And uh, what's interesting is we have one, two, three, four, five, six present in this live call right now. There were, I think, 12 of us total, 11 of us total uh, in the space itself. So we have almost half of our, our group here, which is lovely. And it was a very last minute call. So thank you all for aligning it. And this is going to allow vantage point to come from different spaces. I can tell everyone all day long what I experienced, what I felt, what I saw, but then those that were there with me, they have their vantage point as well. This is a really great teaching tool, if you will, is in addition to a sharing space as to how we can have similarities and commonalities, but we also can have the uniqueness of the space as well. All right, because everyone is creating their own quantum. So even as we experience our physical spaces, our quantum spaces, they're still unique to us. So we allow that to be shared here as well. All right, so Destined Time to Rise Gathering was all about that, a time to rise into the next space of our beings and whatever that was for us in each one of our walks, in each one of our consciousness spaces. And so the way that the event is laid out is there are specific ceremonial spaces, class spaces and session spaces that are given to all in the same manner. And so here I'd like to touch on a couple of those spaces if anyone feels uh, comfortable with sharing and or feels, you know, uh, that it's a space that would relay uh, a deeper understanding of what's available to all. Yes, and it doesn't have to be that you're at a, a gathering. All of these things we speak of are available to you right this moment in your now space. You don't have to travel anywhere besides your own heart, yes, <laughs> to have these type of connection understandings. These spaces amplify them and they connect you with others who are in similar alignments with you, which in, in addition amplifies your now strength in how you walk your path because you have others walking with you that get you, that understand you, that share in the space you're in. And being able to, to see each of you and how different we are, but how much we stand in the same values, I would say, you know, like sharing a space of love and expansion and, and accepting ourselves with our differences, with our love, with our wholeness. And each of you, like, I have something to say about each of you. And that was so beautiful to see the beauty inside and out of each of you and, and feel loved and, and feel accepted. And I was also, like, very anxious before the trip because I had so many experiences since I moved to the U.S. of, you know, being judged by my accent, my life, my decisions, all of that. And, and being in a space that I didn't feel that. It was a safe space. It, Oh my god, I'm gonna cry again. So, <laughs> so yeah, I love to meet and be with each of you. I think we we are very fortunate because we we had a, a very special group and I, I mean this like each of us beautiful and yeah, I don't wanna say this is rare because I don't wanna, you know, anchor this belief. It's not rare, right? We are expanding more and more spaces like that. So it's not rare, but we are very fortunate that we manifested something like that. And the the last thing that I would like to share it was about the abundance that I, I left Dustin. My last day, I told Andrew about that. I was, and you know, I'm still, but the way that I was there, I just felt like bonded with source. And, you know, I would see the waves coming and the flow of abundance and wealthy that I was leaving. When we finished, we ended the trip. It was the most expensive, you know, place that I've been in this version of myself. And that trip helped me, each of you and, you know, the interaction that we had. So 
yeah, I felt abundant all the time and, and it was beautiful. And I was, I was really like literally walking on clowns, you know, like, you know, the songs that you feel like the, the powerful person you're dancing on the street and everything is just a line. And yeah, so it was beautiful. And that's what I have to share for now. So much for listening. I love you all. (laughs) Thank you so much, Susie. That was so beautiful. That was so beautiful. I love that. I love all of it. And that is what we seek to share with everyone with a Cosma, is that they always feel they can be them in their own wholeness, whatever that is, and they're completely loved, and that they are connected fully into source. There's no separation. Yes, there's no separation. So I think what you said is really powerful in a way as well, because it's almost as if um, in this space, it was maybe easier, that's maybe not the perfect word, but to plug into all of that, like to really feel all of that as a solid anchored space of being in that gathering space, you know? So thank you so much, Susie, for sharing that. Did you have anything to add? You looked like you had a additional breath you were taking there and i was launching a program in that week so it was like and, and the space that we all were held holding helped me to go through that on you know, my first big launch so thank you thank you all <laughs> beautiful 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 how wonderful thank you for sharing that with us really grateful all right does anybody else have something they want to share Wow, there's just so much. I feel like I, I still need some time to sit down and journal about it all. But, um, you know, most of us have been walking with Andrea for, uh, we're going up on the two year anniversary this August, yes. Um, and I see your beautiful faces on Zoom, little squares. Most of the time I don't have my glasses on, so it's a little blurry. <laughs> so to um, hug you in person and spend time was very healing for me. Uh, when I first got into Cosma, uh, when I first started my business, we Christian and I created a very beautiful tribe that we would meet up every full moon, new moon. And right when I began, began a Cosma, that group um, went its separate ways. And um, when I came into a Cosma, I came in with a very tender heart for my community. And so going on this trip was very healing for me just to spend time with y'all and each of you were so sweet so i can't articulate enough how much y'all's love you know it felt like we've known each other truly for years for you know many dimensions and timelines and andrea i just i can't articulate enough how grateful i am that you said yes to marrying me to christian There's a beautiful light being that just went by. <laughs> Thank you. And before I got married, Andrea gave me a, a penny from Paula. And uh, I didn't know about all these details, and I'm still getting more details. I haven't met with Jill yet, but I moved some money over to buy some things uh, on my wedding day. And um, I was blessing it as I was moving it over. And uh, I don't know, within like 30 minutes, an hour, Jill had sent me a blessing on PayPal. Um, and apparently Paula came to her and told her to do that. And it was just interesting that a little bit later, uh, Andrea gave me this penny and we're in the abundance workshop, many of us here. <laughs> and then the last day, uh, Susie and I went to this restaurant and there's apparently there's $2 million in ones all over the restaurant just so many beautiful signs and synchronicities. Um, And I'm just so grateful to connect with each of you and and Jill and Julia, I really felt like y'all were there with us and Paula. um, I definitely felt a a spirit in in our hotel room. It was making lots of noise. I don't know if it was Jill and Julia in the quantum or Paula, but uh, it definitely felt like they were there with us. And I just wanna say, I really appreciate y'all spending the best times of my life and Andrew for all that you facilitated it was so many dreams come true on so many levels and to get to hug each of you and spend time with you is just it means more to me than I can ever fully articulate to y'all so thank you for loving me and being so kind to me and um treating me like family truly I just I'm so grateful to be here with y'all and I love you all dearly 
We love you. We love you, beautiful one. We love you. And thank you for all you brought to the space, Meredith. Thank you so very much. I know you and Susie had some really special moments together, yes. expansive and deeply connective moments. So yes. um, that's really beautiful. I think yeah. a lot of, um, ex it was as if the whole family found its way back together and then spaces of the family had these deepening connective points as well happening. So really beautiful. Thank you for that. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I just want to say one last thing. Um, I've always bugged Christian about getting baptized. <laughs> you know, he's never been baptized. He uh, experienced some wobbles in in in, uh, in religion along the way, and it was always something he wanted to do and something that I've always kind of encouraged. So the fact that he got to do that with you, Andrea, was was very special because water is a very big part of his belief system. He believes that. Um, God's source energy is water. So thank you for, it just felt so divinely designed in every way. We manifested and designed so beautifully also. Thank you. Yes, when you said that you had wanted <laughs> baptism for him before or with the wedding space, you know, and I was like, oh my goodness, you know, she really did design this thing to lay it out. Because I've never offered a baptism in a gathering before. And that was my third year at Destin. And I've done two in Sedona, but we've never done a baptism. But this year I knew I was to offer that. So I feel like it was deeply connected with what you were designing. And it also, I've received information, um, I'll say on the side, just because I don't know what I can share and, and sh you know, in that space, but some have religious like trauma spaces or, you know, judgment spaces, perceptional spaces connected with the even the terminology or the understanding of baptism and the way a cosmo looks at this space is there's no separation from god so it is almost as if in every way possible that the mind can comprehend and the heart can align in an acosma baptism it is the being choosing to reconnect itself fully into source the being choosing not a pastor or reverend an outside in um intermediary because the other is not good enough to do it for themselves but the one owning their own space of sovereignty and then choosing that acknowledgement of almost rising up into the next space of their being you know the next space of their consciousness and um Christian shared some of his understandings, his beliefs on water with me, right when we were having that space for him. And, and I share a lot of his beliefs. I said to him, I said to him, it sounds like you've read AQE3 PDF. <laughs> yeah, it was so interesting. Y'all are so connected because when I had the one on one space with you, her technique in the in person session, the way she her techniques of how she was healing me was so similar to what he does for me like y'all are so connected and I wanted to say too from like my testimony point I grew up Methodist and uh, they always you know baptize the baby uh, when you're very small so don't really remember it so I've always wanted to be baptized as an adult so I could you know really remember and, and embrace that space and Andrea could you just share this real quick too you said that in your baptism you weren't cleansing us because we were dirty. Can you explain that a little more? I really loved that. Well, it's not a washing away of the old man. It's a washing away of the old belief of the old man. That was never accurate. In my humble opinion, there was never a blackened heart. There was only light remembering who it was and realizing that it was never disconnected from itself as source. So an Acosma baptism is actually allowing the individual to um, truly in their own right and in their own being acknowledge the release of that thought process, acknowledge the release of separation, acknowledge the release of something outside of itself to save itself, and acknowledging uh, the release of the whole concept of condemnation, judgment, so forth. It's not to wash away your bad spaces, um, it is more so a deep reconnective acknowledgement, if you will, of your connection to the earth, the waters of the earth, 
and the connection that source is within all source is within you as you are in the water source is in the water source is in the planet that holds the water and there's no there's no separation so a cosmo baptism is more about a return to the understanding of no separation yeah um but yes his his understandings on water were were very similar to ours and so i i found that really beautiful as well yeah really beautiful yeah it was like a um just an acknowledgement of sovereignty and that we all have source space within us is what and i love it because you're like do you want me to just drip some water on you i'm like no i want you to dunk me i want the whole thing you know and um, sue's go ahead no but yeah everyone had it their own way yeah which sure. I think is another beautiful thing. You know, Susie said that she loved how she could say no. Yeah. And that was her own thing she designed. Yeah. She designed being at an event where there was a baptism that she could say no to. And you designed yeah. being at an event where there was a baptism you could say yes to. Yeah. And you designed dunk and, and Christian designed bow and sprinkle on the head and Holly designed arms and, you know, chest and so forth. And what does that show us? You're the sovereign creator of your now. You're the one that chooses. No man, no woman, no anything outside of you should tell you how to be you. Yeah. And that's what a cosmos is all about, right? Yeah. So I love that space. Now, another thing I have to add in briefly here is Meredith said I did things to her in the energy session that we had one-on-one -on -one that were similar to what Christian does on her. Now, here's the thing. I didn't do those to Kate. And I didn't do those to Susie. Kate and Susie had different things. And Kate and Susie didn't have what each other had. Every single one of you were unique. With Kate, there was more singing. With Meredith, I did do a pressure energy release thing that I do with Sydney, my daughter, where I allow myself to intuitively feel the back and the shoulders, the, the body in general. Um, and I find spaces where there's been energy that has not moved. It's uh, been pent up with stress or something like that. And I will just ask them to breathe in slowly. And then as they exhale, I press and I, and I help the energy release as they're intending for the release. And they say, you know, I let it go, I let it go, I let it go. And I press in. And so that's something I did with Meredith. I didn't do with anybody else. And here she's like, oh my gosh. And that thing I did on her arms, I think was similar to what Christian does on her. And I don't know what Christian does, right? <laughs> so I love that, that she, you know, does on her face. And then Susie and I, um, we had an incredibly beautiful space of, I think a deepening of remembrance of I feel mother daughter with Susie and we got to have that and um, as much as Susie may think she designed it perfectly for herself I must say I love everything I designed as well with each and every one of you uh, and Kate's was incredibly beautiful when I said you can change positions Kate I like whispered gently to her because in my mind I kept seeing Kate move to her side and just really get comfy on the bed you know when you curl up and you're just really comfy and in energy sessions everybody always lays everybody out like they're in the morgue you know and and it's fine it's helpful for certain movements yes but I just knew in my being tell them and I think I told every one of you you could change your positions when you wanted to but I saw Kate in that position before she even chose it and then she made note to tell me that she how she processed choosing her position and then chose to face me as well because there was a sound thing going on with the drum and my voice all of these spaces so incredibly divinely designed yes so <laughs> I love that you brought up the session space, Meredith. Thank you. And the baptismal as well, because there's these incredibly unique spaces at the same time as there's this over, mm, like a, a flow of continuity, a flow of connectivity, but yet the unique sparks that each individual is. So I love that. I love that. Thank you for bringing it forth in the space. Anything else, Divine One, before I remove your camera? I feel like I could yak y'all's ear all day, but um, I love you all dearly, Susie. The last day and getting to spend time with you was extremely healing for me. And um, I also have to say, Angela, thank you so much for uh, leading me here. I love you.
And I'm so humbly proud of each of you. And I'm so humbly proud of you, Andrea, mother of light, the sister of light. I just, I still giggle at myself, you know, wanting to come in and, and learn light language. And now we're here. It's so, so expansive and beautiful. And uh, I'm just so grateful for you and for all of you, our beautiful family of light and our beautiful teams of light that assist us as well. Thank you. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. All right. Let's see. Anybody else here want to share anything? No pressure. Yes, Kate. Yes, you're waving. Yes. Beautiful Janet. All right. Let's see. Here we go. Well, it's funny and you won't be surprised. I really didn't even know this was going to be about sharing. <laughs> I don't think I read everything all the time. <laughs> Maybe that's but, for the best. I think you're right. Uh, but I just want to say that for me, I I am still integrating a lot. Now, when I left, still I'm doing all this integrating and I feel all this energy swirling around me. And um, Saturday was just this amazing day that started before Andrea's first class, but I know that that was energy that I brought with me back from Destin. So I still am just like processing, 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 but I get one of the, one of the main things for me is that I really, um, I mean, I've been posting as a crone for like five years, but I really feel like Andrea helped me step into that role and, um, I just feel so much more self-confident and so um, just so much more comfortable in my skin, everything about my skin, even my wrinkles and, you know, little skin spots and all that kind of stuff. My lovely silver hair. And yeah, so, so thank you very much. And also I want to say um, the whole singing, I resonated with that so much because when I first started speaking light language it was in song and I thought what's wrong with me everyone else is talking why am I singing I, like I had this thought though I think I'm supposed to be singing not speaking but then I thought well I should be emulating everybody else and like that was like almost a year ago and so here I am and now I'm like just singing 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 all the time so uh, I love that I have like it's like my soul song coming out we had a we still having rain here and a huge tree fell in the woods yesterday. My husband was outside and heard it. And I went this morning and I could just, you know, I could just feel the morning in the woods, like from all the spirits and, and the other trees. And like this beautiful sort of morning soul song came out. And yeah, so I just feel like I'm home. So thank you, everyone. I love you all. Beautiful. Thank you, Kate, Janet. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm going to put a picture in this video because we all had such a um, moment of joy when it happened. I want to share it with context here. So when Janet said she, uh, she moved into feeling really comfortable about the crone space of her being, really owning it with love for herself, right? And I've looked to her for two years now. I was drawn in by her name, even on IG and the content she shared, and I was entering into that space, right? I had just come into the knowing I would never, you know, birth a kid from my body again or whatever, and I was moving through the spaces of the mental side of that. Um, so I looked up to Kate, to Janet, and I had not told her because I saw her as comfortable in her croneship and <laughs> you know, living from the space of her being and being the voice, right? A crone's voice, right? And so then she starts telling me, I'll just share one little space here about a, a space of uncomfortableness with being the crone, in a sense, being older or whatever, right? And so I had to relay to her how I viewed her because I thought, oh, I thought she, you know, how we think it's implied in a sense or something people pick up on it. And I think she wasn't aware of how I saw her that way and what I had gained from her in such a positive manner. And then the next morning, I'm pretty sure it was the next morning, 
everyone was outside. All of you were waiting for me in Sydney to come out of the hotel to head down to the beach for our morning ceremony. And um, I was wearing my beautiful brand new white cover up I had bought myself that I loved so much, you know. And I come out and what do you think Kate is wearing? Beautiful Janet wearing the same exact cover up as me. It was it was all again, a design. Yes, a divine design for all connected as much as Kate Janet is saying she got from this space. And we acknowledge that and we're so grateful for her share. There was a space I got from that connection as well, right? And every one of us have those spaces, those moments. So thank you unendingly for sharing that with us and that whole processing space. Janet brought that up as well. She asked me yesterday or so if I had felt tired or anything. I told her Friday when we got back, halfway through the day, given I did a lot that week, I understand that, but it was a different kind of tired. It's not like you're just sleepy because you've been busy. It's like you need to go lay down because you're drugged and we're about to work on you. That's the tired I felt. So I laid down and I am in tune now because I spent the whole year of 2019 with that happening every day to me. Every day in 2019, I'd be in TJ Maxx and I'd have to grab the rack of clothing and I'd go, oh my God, yep, they're getting ready to do an upgrade on me. And I'd be like, let me make it to the car, please. Hello, or at least, you know, can I get home? But um, that was a very normal thing for me. And I hadn't had it since 2019. And then I had it the Friday we got back. And when I went into the sleep space, when we got back, I felt as if, I felt their presence, these higher ones. I could feel their presence when there was no fear in me whatsoever. There was no judgment, which is what 2019 had a lot of healing and releasing and accepting. But now it was just like meeting, showing up and being absolutely 100% in their hands. And in, in essence, in my own hands, do you understand? And so there was so much done and it was about 45 minutes I was out but at the same time I could hear stuff that was happening in my house I was like lucidly out it was very very interesting but then Kate asks me about it and Janet and I said oh yes yes and I relayed what I had experienced so keep taking those naps Janet <laughs> thank you so much for that keep 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 allowing that's beautiful that's beautiful all right does anybody else want to share holly yes all right beautiful holly let's see hello everyone um i just wanted to share that i had the most amazing time i didn't think i was gonna go and then i just told myself i'm going i want to be there to meet everybody kind of be in my space and and meet all of you guys because i feel like we're family but meeting you guys in person was even more amazing. Um, and um, the plane, I mean, when I got to the airport, everything just worked out great. I mean, I met the most amazing people. I had the best time on the plane, um, these ladies. And then, um, and then Kate uh, picked me up. It was so wonderful. She like, drove me they drove me around and I was because I had no car <laughs> nothing and it was just worked out great and I'm so glad we all stayed at the same hotel and hopefully next time we can stay at the Henderson and it was so great to just have lunch with Kate and her husband Frank and I miss those lunches and then meeting Angela and um, so glad that Angela uh, had everybody meet for dinner that night that was wonderful and um, and then meeting, um, oh, and then first of all, after we got back from lunch to go to the hotel, Ash is in the parking lot. And I was like, I think that's Ash. And I, cause I was like, you can't miss her, <laughs> gorgeous, blonde. And then I was, I'm like, Kate, I think that's Ash. And I was like, Ash, is that you? And she's like, yes. <laughs> so that was so great. And I mean, it was just like perfect. And then, um, we all went to the restaurant and then I got to meet Meredith and oh my gosh, that was so wonderful. And 
And then Susie, she came in later and it was just like beautiful, beautiful. And then meeting Andrea, oh my gosh, <laughs> tears, just tears. I remember seeing um, Sydney and then I was like, oh my gosh, there was Andrea. <laughs> It was just like, it was so beautiful and in that beautiful space. And I mean, it was just so wonderful. Everything, the wedding, I can't believe we were at a wedding. <laughs> Everything just was so beautiful. And I just love all of you guys. And I had the most amazing time. And, and I didn't think I was going to maybe go to Sedona, but now I'm thinking maybe I should be going to Sedona. <laughs> It's like, I was just like, I don't know. I'm so immersed in the Cosma and I just absolutely, I love it, love it, love it. And I love how we just keep expanding and growing and, and it's just such a beautiful place, beautiful space. And I'm so, so grateful for all of you, every one of you. And we all bring our own flavor, our own connection to it. And we're all individual, but we're all one. I love that. I love that. I love that. So much love. So much love. Thank you. Thank you, Holly. Thank you so much. And I like that we're all individual and we're all one. And isn't that the exact definition of source? Yes. Source in all its spaces. Source in all its spaces. So I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Holly. So beautiful. So beautiful. And I'm hoping to have you in Sedona. I'm excited. <laughs> we'll all align that together. Yes. <laughs> beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Is there anybody else who wants to share who feels? <laughs> First, I want to say um, I wasn't anticipating coming, but Meredith is so good at manifesting. <laughs> She just manifested me right in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, and I want to say also to Susie, your aura today is just stunning. She is just glowing. Beautiful aura around her today. I just I had to share that. Um, it was an amazing space. I'm not going to get into the um, ghost space because we share that on an individual video. <laughs> Go watch it. <laughs> Uh, but I do want to say that it was a huge space of expansiveness. Um, ever since I've gotten home, um, I've really stepped out of that fear space that I've had for such a long time. And some very interesting things have been happening. And uh, I'm moving into spaces I didn't anticipate moving into. But <laughs> I want to thank you for that, for believing in me. Mm -hmm. um, and it was amazing meeting each and every one of you. Um, it's hard to find your tribe, mm -hmm. um, especially when um, it, it's not everybody's truth. <laughs> um, so finding people that are like-minded with such big, beautiful hearts who accept you for who you are is such a blessing. I'm getting choked up. And um, it was just such an honor to meet each and every one of you. I'm just, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Mm, thank you, Angela. Thank you so much. And thank you for all you share with us because you are a, a space of eyes. Yes, the seer. And you have this art that you're able to convey um, so much to us to add that additional level, that additional space of connectivity. And, and that was a, a space you contemplated stepping into and you made the conscious choice right it wasn't like you were just like yeah whatever she was like well what does that exactly entail yes yes what would i be saying yes to and <laughs> that's important though again that's even like susie saying i don't want to do the baptism right ask your questions and figure out if it's in alignment so awesome i'm so thankful that Everyone is stepping into these spaces of sovereignty. And Angela, I'm very excited for the mediumship course that is unfolding, a higher uh, vibrational medium. And um, everything is really opening up very quickly. Um, it's They were just waiting. We were just waiting for ourselves, yes? And, and yes. it's not late, it's not early, it's right on time. Um, but yes, that is coming quickly. And also your starry lights, a Cosmopod launches on 6-6. Six, yes. six. So congratulations on that Thank as well. You. We're so excited. All right. So this is 
in incredible space of expansion. And I do feel like it anchored itself in Destin to really come forth. So thank you for bringing yourself there to assist in that, all that it anchored. Thank you, Angela. <laughs> so grateful for you. All right. Just to make sure, Ash, do you want to say anything, camera or no camera? I, I, I will edit however you want. If you want to say anything, I want to give you the space to do so. Oh, hello there, Thomas. How are you, divine one? Yes, actually, it's me, are not you sneak, Ashley. You're sneaking in here <laughs> underneath a false Ash. Yes. I'm just joking. Uh, I love uh, it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just wanted to, uh, to say to the entire family that, you know, thank you all so much for being so you know welcoming i i wasn't going to uh come i had prior engagements i i am really uh, quick to put myself into multiple positions and promise myself to multiple outlets at once and then forget about it uh a little bit later down the road and and by later you know five minutes ten minutes a week who knows and so that was the situation where i was i had forgotten I was going to Destin and um, I uh, promised a coworker at the job I was working that I would work for him. Well, it just so happened to work out that this was just an engagement between us. So it didn't actually reach the boss. So this entire time I had thought I promised myself and I couldn't go wind up being actually work. It's like the universe kept throwing all these signs and I just kept ignoring them. And uh, needless to say, I did actually have a uh, free time to go to Destin the entire time. And then being able to go there, it just, it, it, it worked out so wonderfully. We had, I mean, you got to think about abundance, getting to that position. You know, I had my 100% from the VA, uh, this back pay, plus um, Ashley had um, some tax return. So it's like, we were able to pay for everything ahead of time. Now I kind of wish I had gotten the Henderson instead of the, uh, the Fairfield, but <laughs> if we fun. didn't, then we wouldn't have been able to be around all those wonderful women mm -hmm. and and be put into positions where we needed. You know, it's it's like when somebody you could tell somebody needs a ride somewhere, but it's not that. It's like you have to connect beyond that. There's something that needs to be learned or or spoken, or there's something that they got to get off their chest. You know, so it's when you look outside the 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 picture, the box, whatever you want to call it. And you put yourself in a, um, think of it as, uh, you know, we're the players playing the simulator and step outside, you know, think, think as the player would think and, you know, which would be us as light beings. And I don't know, I, I have like five or six different thoughts going on in my head right now. I do want to just hurry up and say that. Thank you so much. I, I was love that I got to be a part of the uh, water baptism as well. Cause again, it was one of those situations where I'm on the phone speaking to the mother of my children and, and there was some, you know, there's been a lot of things going on and um, it, it just, it worked out perfect. It, it, this is wild. And now I'm finding out there's a lot of, um, uh, I believe in a lot of things. So Sedona as as anybody else would know is a very huge hotspot for, uh let's say all types of beings whether it's american native and 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 you know in energy work with and without uh intergalactic beings and with the fact that we all get to go there this is wild so i'll just end it with that and, and i love y'all so much <laughs> thank you tommy thank you so much that is so wonderful and how what, what a lovely surprise we were not expecting this now were we <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that in a positive way <laughs> yes 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 all right beautiful one thank you so much really that's awesome i love it and i love how it unfolded as well for the baptism space uh that was really beautiful and it gave us the opportunity to really key in if you notice in that video when i went to put it together i saw this happening the divine feminine and the divine masculine and and Tommy really anchored that space in a lot of the you know ceremonial spaces or like and he was um on that day out there in the water with me but then we have that shot of 
Kate's hand and his hand and the, he has this beautiful tats on his arm, you know, and that muscular arm coming down and then holding Kate's beautiful arm and hand and and here it's a space where Kate was owning her beauty in all spaces of her and that just happens to be like the 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 poster of Destin now right it's like the picture I keep putting everywhere there's Kate's arm again and Tommy's arm again you know so I just think that there's it, it's just so beautiful the layers of confirmation of love so so beautiful I want to share this briefly with you guys before we jump off this space um I think everyone has had a speak a moment to say what they wanted to say so if anybody else has something just please tap in but when you were standing in the water uh, for the water ceremony and in the video, you see yourselves lined up, you know, that shot where I'm facing you, you're facing the ocean, feet are in the water. I stood with each one of you. You held the planet of light and healing grid crystal sphere. And I spoke and it was your connections that were coming through. And they were all so different. And anyone who was able to pick up who was next to them, because I know it's hard to hear five down when you're by the ocean, but you can hear right next to you sometimes, yes? You knew, you knew you could hear the others and you probably even sensed or felt the energy of the space itself. So what I understood in that space was as I stood in front of each one of you and we had that connection space with the crystal in our hands and the intention and we're in the water, so everything was amplified, uh, you became a portal for all your ancestors, earth and galactic, intergalactic, dimensional, interdimensional, every single space of connectivity for you energetically. And as each portal opened and they, the love and the light of these spaces of you, ancient future, flooded in, they came into our now reality line. They came into our now earth anchor point, if you will. And so by the time I had made it down the line, you had all of these massive portal shafts of light anchoring into the earth and opened up into the timeline, flooding the timeline with higher dimensional love. And that was my understanding of a big part of what took place there. It happens in these A Time to Rise gatherings. It happened in Sedona last year. For any of you who were there and remember, when we got to the top of Cathedral Rock and I asked you all to come stand on my wall with me. I call it my wall, but it's not really my wall. It's everybody's wall. But um, it's, a, it's at the very top and, and you can get right up against it and it goes really high up into the air more. But I asked everybody to put their foreheads on it and just really connect in with the space. And I stood behind them and I did again that innate knowing to just create the portal space, make the connection. And it was like, they just all started opening. And there was this massive, in that one, there was a lot of healing that came in first, like a really deep type of release healing where the ancestors rose and I felt like in Destin, because of what we did in Sedona, when we got into that space in Destin, we were not in so much of a space of healing, release and rise, but we were in a space of owning and anchoring that at that new level. And that was what was coming through to me, but I also wanted to be able to relay it completely and not be distracted by anything that was happening around us. So I thought it would you know, use this space to share that. Uh, but when each of you held that crystal, and you also remember at the end of the ceremony, the, the gathering, I asked you, I believe it was at the end, to bless it, possibly. Um, I went around the circle and put it in your hands again, and you blessed it. Um, we were sealing, we were sealing in divine light, all that had been done and see here's the here's the kicker i love this point it's just like a cosmos in the sense of the teaching spaces of the courses or the classes on being in a human or anything like that remember it's always self-expansion first and then we take it to the world anyone who wants to take it via their own actions amplifying and emulating and or this you know teaching and that's what happens in these gatherings 
It's self-expansion first. It's the individualized experience, the love, the healing, the clearing, the inner knowing, expanding. And then it is at the same time planetary, human, human collective, unity collective. It is so incredibly beautiful to see that, yes, and to understand it, to, to really give it our focus. Because even in doing so, I say this all the time, by you just imagining what I just shared with you, by you picturing the portal spaces, by you picturing and leaning in and remembering the, the, the messages, the languages, uh, whatever you were feeling and sensing, by you just doing that, you are solidifying what we did as an alignment that is continuing to anchor and expand. Do you understand? Because your, your focus gives it life. And that ship is real in that video, you guys, and it materializes. You can see it never goes across the sky. It comes in and out, one point of reference, nothing else. And if you're ever at a beach and you see a blimp, if someone tells you that's a blimp, what do blimps do? They go down the coastline. They don't come in the sideline and pop in and out on a side. That's a waste of money. If there is that's an airplane pulling a sign, what do they do? They go right down the entire coastline where you look out over the ocean and you see them. This was over the hotels to back towards the parking area. One space in and out. It's a very, very powerful understanding. Those spheres of light in the room, two feet, three feet big, over the couch coming up from Susie's legs, going up over everyone on the couch, over in the front of the curtain by me. That, that we couldn't even darken the room enough, really, to give them that assistance, right? Yet they still pulled it off. They still poof, brought that light in enough to say, let's give them a go. Let's let them see us. Let's light it up. We ask them to shine, let's shine. So all these spaces we can remember, right? We can feed with our, our minds and our hearts, giving it energy by just allowing it some focus in our beings. And what happens? We amplify it, we take it to the next level. We are the next level, we are the next level. All right, beautiful ones. Thank you unendingly for being in this space. Oh yes, Susie. You were talking about remembering, and I've been doing that. I've been catching myself remembering of spaces that we had, that I had in, in Dustin. And something that I need to share, it was the first session we had after the first class, that the one that you, you were talking about, the rays of lights, right? I believe so. It was extraordinary like the energy there were few spaces in my life so far that i felt the energy as high as that day it's always high but that day i i i could i couldn't do anything i just laid down because you know it was i i don't even have words to explain but the energy was so high the experience was so beautiful and it was expensive it was I don't know how to say, but it was gorgeous. Like, <laughs> yes, I think that's 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 what it's gonna explain. But I I need to say that. So we don't need that. We don't need to go to these places for that. But isn't it awesome when we go to to connect with like-minded people and amplify? Like Kendra said, I feel like yeah, it's not that we must do, but if we can why not like it's such a good experience and needed in, cert in certain way you know for self-expansion for treating yourself so yeah i love it thank you so much and i love sedona too and sedona is oh my goodness i'll, I'll stop now i'll, I'll stop <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. And you're right, though. It is, if we can, why don't we? And here's the thing. We're meant to live that way. That's why we love it so much. We're not meant to live separated out. We're meant to live in community. We're meant to actually live in like, they call them commune communities now or something like that. And But it's uh, tribal, really. It's where you are all in the same general area that you can come in for for ceremony, for food for gathering of whatever it is, right, uh, focus wise, but we're made for that. We're, we're designed to edify one another, uplift one another, encourage one another, love one another. And it's when we pull everybody out and we stick them in all these separate spaces, it's just like the coal. I always tell that story of the coal. 
that when you go to light like um, a barbecue and you have the coal chips, you know, the coal, I don't know, brisk, I don't know what they're called, I, I, but you know what I mean. They're like little bowls and you put them in the, the barbecue and then you can light them and they all get hot and they create the heat together. But if you take one of them out and you stick it to the side, the ones that are all connected together still are gonna stay hot. But that one that gets taken out and put to the side, it loses its warmth, it loses its flame, and it gets cold. Um, and that's what I saw a long time ago of people coming together like this. It allows that warmth to come back, that flame to return and get more powerful to gain its strength again. And because we understand the quantum and because we understand how to connect in the quantum, and now we have this space we've done where we've gotten to be together in the physical. Well, now we have taken ourselves into an even deeper level of quantum because we brought back the origination of the physical. That was what the ceremonial spaces were intended for with earth and humans. And these galactics, these intergalactics, this is a connectivity of ancient future understandings. And so we're only going to expand these beautiful spaces and allow for more of them. And if I choose where I spend my time, my energy and my money, it's going to be in spaces where I am getting to do things like this. <laughs> this is what I love. Why do anything else? So yes, yes, I love it. I love the, the chat here as well. <laughs> That's beautiful, beautiful. All right, divine ones, thank you for taking the time to be in this space with me for sharing. All right, beautiful divine ones, I love you unendingly. And thank you, Tommy, for bringing the divine masculine in again so beautifully to this group. We love you. We love you. We love you. Mwah.